why we get onto this and why people need to learn about it is all other existing digital currencies are a hedge against that. They give you an option. It doesn't matter what they are. Hold it. I mean, let's look at the, the, the OG. So Bitcoin. You hold Bitcoin. That is a hedge against these things. It's an option. You put your money there or some of your money, just some of your wealth into that. Not investment advice. Not. No. If you were to do that, though. It's not investment advice. I don't know anything, as this conversation proves. But yeah, it gives you an option. My my fear is basically this: people aren't given a choice, so nobody is educated on how this stuff works. They don't even understand that it's a possibility that money can be programmed to be spent within parameters. And then one day they wake up, and they don't own any other as digital assets at all, and all of their wealth and ability to earn money and all of those things is stuck in a system that they cannot get out of, that they don't have a hedge against. That's my concern. And by educating people now, all it does is give people options. Because some people would love that system. Imagine a scenario where, especially if you get a situation where, you know, with automation of jobs, the workforce changes, and that's, just, that's going to happen. <clears throat> Loads of stuff's going to be automated. Not everyone's going to have to go to work in the same way. So then universal basic income comes in. Some people would be quite happy. I'm, I'm not judging these people. Some people would be quite happy to sit at home, play on the computer, watch TV, chill, play with their family, and just have a wallet that the government gives them this much to survive on every month. And they, as long as they don't spend it outside of these parameters, everyone's a winner. Some people would love that. They'd love it. But some people wouldn't. And that's, that's, I think you should have options. So that's, that's the education side of it anyway. That's why I think you should try to at least be aware of this and the implications of it. Yeah. Because I, I think I, my, this is just my personal perspective, you know, and it's all linked to why I got involved with giving to services, why I started saying in the first place. I believe in personal responsibility and you know, service is part of that. I think service is good for you. I think you being responsible for your own financial situation is quite a good thing. I don't think someone should control how you choose to live your life. Mm. And that, that is connected to how you're able to spend your money. You know, and we are one of the problems we have in this the, the blockchain community in general, and the crypto community is regulation. So you have institutions that don't really understand what they're trying to regulate because it's a very fluid thing. Blockchain is it's changed every two minutes; it's hard to keep up with. And obviously, there are scams everywhere, as there are with everything. And reg some regulation is needed in order to keep completely uneducated people safe from themselves in a way and from people taking advantage of them. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think currently what we have is a situation where there is the established order that is being disrupted by this new technology and the established order either can't move fast enough to get on top of it and keep established and keep their current position or are scared that they could just, you know, they could lose their nice life that they've got. And this is individuals and institutions. It's a disruptive technology. It's, it's, and that's what technology is meant to do. It's meant to disrupt and get better over time. So, um, kind of lost a train of thought there. Oh, yeah, so regulation. I feel like at the moment, because this, there's like this, this genie that's escaping the bottle in a way with, with blockchains, becoming more into public consciousness, institutions are just flapping and going, right, we need to put, put, it, put this back in its box a little bit. And I think they're doing... They're over-regulating in some respects. They're trying to control it too much. And it, it just it comes down to that balance between people being safe to spend their money as they want, but also being allowed to spend as they want. Because what, what people who are just getting into this, what you may find is if you go to uh, to buy some cryptocurrency, your bank may say no. Some banks will not let you buy it. At the very least, a lot of them will give you, a, they'll deny the transaction and you'll have to ring them and say, please, can I spend my money, please? And that's it's sketch. It's like, all you're doing is holding my cash for me. That's all you're doing. 
and you're making obviously they're making money off your cash while it's sat in their account. It doesn't just sit there; they lend it out and make money off it. That's how banks work. It's their business. That's fine, but you don't get to tell me how to spend my money. 